So we're going to solve this. What's going to happen here is we want to find this, if this is a minimum or maximum. This has got a negative coefficient in front of the x squared term, so it's going to be a upside down parabola. So we use negative b over 2a, which is going to be negative b, which is 8, over um, 2 times negative 1. And that's what a is. So we get negative 8 over negative 2, which is equal to 4. Plug in 4, so we get negative 16. The negative is separate from the 4, so we don't have to worry about it canceling out when we square it. Um, plus 32. So 8 times 4, and then minus 4. So this ends up being 16 minus 4, which is equal to 12. All right, you plug in 12. And let me see here. When you plug in 12, um, you end up getting out. I don't know, I gotta type in. So 12 squared is 144, plus 8 times 12, which is I think 96 or something. Let's find out. I'm plugging it in right now. 12 times 8. Yeah, it's 96. 96 minus 4. Actually, it should be 96, not 94. And I get negative 52. Sounds a little strange. If I graph this, Oh, I feel silly. Uh, disregard all that stuff. I don't know why I fit that back in, 12 back in. 12 is the solution. I feel so silly right now. All right, so 4 and then 12. So the maximum is going to be 4 comma 12. So um, maximum is at uh, y equals 12 when x equals 4 or however you want to put that in there. All right, sorry about that. That's it.